This was our first full-time families rally, our first time boondocking for more than one night, and our very first balloon fiesta. And we learned a lot, and we're gonna share some tips with you today. Tip number one, in case you didn't know, the Fiesta has prime time. So the prime times are very, very early in the morning and late in the evening. There's not a lot going on over there in the middle of the day for the most part. There's a few activities, but most of the good stuff happens super early and super late. We wanted to go to a lot of the super early stuff, but we are not morning people. So that was a bit of a struggle for us. I wish in hindsight we would have started to adjust our schedule a little bit because some days we don't get out of bed till 9 or 9.30. So this 4.30 wake up calls were rough for us and our kids. You're gonna be exhausted. You're gonna be completely exhausted no matter what, but you can make it a little bit easier on yourself by adjusting your morning schedule little by little in the weeks leading up to the fiesta. All right, our next tip, wear good shoes. Um, we usually always wear hiking shoes when we go out and about, but one day Jude wore Crocs and he really regretted that. It doesn't seem like you're gonna do that much walking because we stayed right next to the launch pad on the grounds. And we thought, oh, it's just right there. We'll just go walk over there. But when you get there, you do so much walking. It's a lot of walking there, it's a lot of walking back. Um, and I didn't look at our total tally for the whole time we were there, but we walked over 12 miles in just the first couple of days. So uh, definitely bring your good shoes. And kind of on the same note, if you have bikes and you have the ability to bring them with your RV, do that. We saw a lot of people riding bikes in and out and it definitely made it a lot easier to go back and forth to the launch pad if you had a bike. There are definitely opportunities to catch a shuttle from close to the RV park um, into the launch pad. You have to kind of cross over the highway right there, but you can only do that from the front entrance. If you go along the pedestrian entrance that's closer to the back, you're not gonna find a shuttle there. So if you're interested in a shuttle, definitely go towards that front entrance. Okay, so one other thing that we did that made it so much easier was that we cooked ahead for the week. Um, we did that because we have food allergies, we travel with food allergies, and we were boondocking for such a long time, something we weren't really used to doing, we weren't really comfortable with it, so we just wanted to make everything a little bit easier for us. I spent one Sunday afternoon just cooking all of our meals, threw them in the freezer, and then we were good to go. It ended up, I was so glad we did that because I didn't understand really how busy we were gonna be between both the rally and the fiesta. Because we did the full-time families rally and we're staying around all these other families, we were busy from the time we got up in the morning until the time we went to bed at night, we did not stop. So I was really glad that we just had food that we could just grab and go. We could have a picnic. We would, you know, grab our chicken salad out of the freezer, defrost it the night before, head on over into the launch pad with our picnic dinner, and it was done. I didn't have to spend a ton of time cooking. I didn't have to do a bunch of dishes while we were boondocking. It just made everything a lot easier. And I heard from a few people that the food over inside of the fiesta was not that good anyway, so bring your own. You're so busy that you don't have time to clean and no one around you has time to clean. Our RV was just a complete walking disaster the entire time we were there and it's okay. Um, not a big deal, you know, it's one week out of your life. Go enjoy and just kind of embrace the mess, embrace the chaos. Um, the other thing is, is that everyone around you is also boondocking. No one is taking showers as much as they would like to. No one around you probably has clean hair that doesn't have a ton of dry shampoo in it. And just kind of embrace that. Everyone around you smells, everyone is boondocking, everyone's in the same situation. Don't worry about it. Throw a hat on, go have a good time. Definitely get your tickets at Costco. We um, heard that they were a little bit cheaper there and you buy tickets per session. So you buy either a morning session or an afternoon session. And um, we actually ended up buying just the right amount. I think we even had a couple left over that we just gave away. So um, to another family that was near us. So definitely look into buying your tickets at Costco because they are a little bit cheaper if you buy them in advance. Okay, so the next one is kind of a big one. Weather and unpredictability. Um, there were days that it was completely sunny, not super windy on the ground, that the balloons didn't go up. And that was super disappointing, we couldn't figure it out. 
it's not just the wind on the ground, it's the wind way up high, and that's why they send out the Dawn Patrol. So just because it looks like normal conditions to you does not mean that all of the balloons are gonna go up. If we had only planned on going into the launch pad on one day, or we were only gonna be there one day, we would have been massively disappointed on the day that we went in. Um, mostly because it's super unpredictable. You need to have more than a couple of days there to really experience everything that has to offer because it's super unpredictable on whether or not those green flags go up. Um, and that kind of leads us into our next tip, which is it's okay to not go in every day. We actually had our most magical experiences right there in the RV park. And I'm so happy that we stayed home on the days that we stayed home because magic happened. We, the kids got to go up in a hot air balloon. We had one land right in front of our front door. If we'd been at the launch pad, we would have missed that. And so it's okay to not go in every day, especially if you're staying at the RV park because magic happens there too. So don't run your family completely into the ground with all of those early mornings or late evenings. Um, it's okay to stay home. We were still able to see the fireworks. We had incredible experiences just staying right there on the grounds in the RV park. So definitely do that if you have a chance. Definitely be there for more than a couple of days because the weather is just so unpredictable. Something's gonna get canceled and you don't want it to be on that little blip of time that you're planning to be there. Okay, my next tip is get the trading cards early. Most of these balloon uh, pilots have little trading cards and my kids love the trading cards. But if there's one that you really want, get it early because we waited to get a couple that we really wanted like from the penguins and things like that that by the time we went on the last night, they were completely out. They had run out days ago. So if the trading cards are important to your kids, the ones that they want the most, definitely get those early because it seems like everybody ran out by the end. All right, so our next tip is that if you go over at nighttime for the special sleeps Glodio or whenever they're lighting up all of the balloons, you definitely want to bring a flashlight or um, we really recommend glow sticks for the kids because when it was dusk, it was perfect. Um, but it gets very, very dark out there and unless you happen to be standing next to a balloon that's lit up for a very short period of time, it's very hard to see where you're going. And I kept feeling like we were gonna lose Jonah. We had Zachary, our youngest in the baby carrier, um, but I would look down and Jonah would be running all over the place and it was a little bit scary that we might lose him So if I had it to do over again, I probably would have put some glow sticks around his neck or on his shoes or something um, For me to be able to spot and easily keep track of him um, And then it was pretty dark walking back. It's a lit area But it still would have been kind of nice to have a flashlight. So I probably would put those in our backpacks um, but definitely definitely the glow sticks if you have little kids. Okay, so our next tip is the Fiesta has a fantastic app you can download. We use it for iPhones. I don't know if they have it for Android, but I'm assuming that they probably do. Um, it keeps you in the know. It tells you all the weather updates. It tells you whether the flag is green or red. There were a lot of times we were just kind of twiddling our thumbs early on going, we don't know what's going on over there because we're not at the launch pad or we couldn't hear over the loudspeaker what their announcement was where if you have the app, it will send you notifications of red flags, green flags, what's going on. And it's a really easy way to stay in the loop and it'll send you reminders of all of the things that are going on, all of the activities, what's going on next. So if there's something you wanna run over there for, you totally could. The app was completely worth it. And our last tip is if you have time, if you have the opportunity to go to a full-time families rally, do it. We completely underestimated what it was going to be like. It was incredible. There were so many things to do. Um, we really just encourage you to embrace the community. These are your people. If you're a full-time family, these are your people. You don't have to explain all the silly little idiosyncrasies about what this life is like and black tanks and being level and jack pads. Like people, they just get you straight out of the box. They get you. They understand your life. You don't have to explain things. Um, and my kids had a complete blast. They were basically not even home. They were constantly running around with all the other families and it was like a huge party for the week. They loved the dance party. They loved playing Nerf Wars, um, crafting with each other, sitting up on top of RVs. Like they just, they completely had a blast. They made so many friends. Jason and I made friends and uh, it was just really nice to embrace a community that understood us, that we could be a part of, because um, we miss that about having a house and being stationary. Um, it's one of the things that we miss the most, and the, the rally really provided that opportunity to make those connections with people and just really embrace our community. 
So we definitely recommend going to a full-time families rally. My kids are already asking when we can go to another one. They had a blast. The balloon fiesta and the rally definitely made it into our top five favorites for this year out of all of our experiences. It was just incredible. There were so many wonderful moments, so many memories that we made that um, those are just priceless to us and we'll definitely try and go back again if we ever have the opportunity.